Hello, my name is Naman, and today we are back with some more Assassin's Creed 2. So, without wasting our time, let's resume the game. So, we are gonna continue from the last video from where we left off in the last video. So, we are gonna check on Claudia, and there would probably be another mission right there. So, let's see. Let's talk to them. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Okay, so we can, like... Oh, we can renovate all the time. Equipment, oh. collection... Okay, let's go. Claudia will now store the villas in the chest next to her. And we have this guy. Architect. Okay. Let's go. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess. But I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? <laughs> Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell mud. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. So we can... I would definitely need one bag. Never mind. We can, yeah, we can generate this thing. Uh, Alright, so we can come back here. Buon viaggio! Alright. Let's talk with Uncle Mario. Ezio, my boy, I think it's time I showed you something. Secret room. I forget. Let's go. Go speak with Mario in his office. Do you have a secret office? This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. 
Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. So how do I get that armor? To read the specs and place my six stars. We have to go to the exclamation mark. That would be some keys. We have to take and go to the store. Let's go. So Ultra's story is connected with Ezio. That's that's insane. So let's go to the exclamation mark. Let's see. What's up there? Interesting game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go to one and second. Turn enemy into a clickable object. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci and the the old products pages, yeah. yeah. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? 
Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Practice several new assassination techniques by Leonardo Tinkers with the Kodak's pages. Alright, sure. Let's check that out. Practice those. Assassination. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Alright, we are done. I'm sure I have so just what you need. Somewhere in the back. Attenzione! It has come to the attention of the Signoria that the young man has been... Ah, let's just go here. Let's go. Right. Fox has been located. Now we'll play some music. And you know what? Uh, I would do this in the next video. So that does it for this video. Um, I would see you guys in another one. One hour. Stay safe and bye bye.